This is a day in life as a full-time traveling family of five and we're living in Costa Rica for the next month, so here we go. Welcome to a day life as a full-time travel family. We're living in Costa Rica for the next month, so come along as we enjoy our day with our three little kids. It's around six in the morning right now. The three kids are sleeping and we're gonna enjoy coffee outside on our little terrace. We are in the Manuel Antonio area. We're right by the national park, but we have not been able to go to the national park or pretty much do anything. My husband has had gout for the past week and it's hopefully getting better that we can go before we leave. Um, we only have, I think like a week left here in Costa Rica before we have to go back to the States, unfortunately. But don't worry, our adventures are not stopping anytime soon. We have back-to-back -back cruises we're going for the rest of the month or for the rest of the year and then heading internationally to Europe for God knows how long. In Costa Rica, it was really easy to find pure cane sugar, which is so much better than regular sugar. My oldest daughter woke up, so she's right behind the camera. Also, I saw something on TikTok about putting jam and jelly in coffee and making it like sweet. It is so good. I have strawberry jam in my coffee right now and it is just ugh, so good. I don't need the sugar, I just add it because I don't know why. Security alarm. God damn it. Jordan, where's the key? Why? You realize no one's as tall as you, so I can't find it. Ooh, it's nice and cool out. This terrace is absolutely so beautiful. We see monkeys all the time here. We see t my husband. We see toucans and parrots and I don't even know some of the creatures that we see. It is full of wildlife. This Airbnb has its own pool. It has like this own like nature wall and waterfall like just for the guests on this property. I will let you guys know the property once we leave and I'll make a whole review on it. But for safety, I'm not gonna show you guys right now. The hike was a little intense. We couldn't do it. It was a little bit too hilly and I'm afraid of heights. Husband has gout. It was just not, not a thing. But if you're up to it, you can. We haven't really gone anywhere this past week because of my husband gout. So this today, he's feeling a little better. So we're gonna go to the beach and he'll just pretty much sit on the sand. But we're hopefully we're able to go to Manuel Antonio National Park and explore a little more. So we haven't really done the whole experience of Manuel Antonio, but so far it's been beautiful. Just sitting on our balcony, you probably can hear the birds. There's so much wildlife. So we're gonna sit and enjoy our coffee while our kids are sleeping and then we'll get started with the day. Weird thing about cereal in Costa Rica is they're not as sugary as the cereal in America, which I personally like, especially for the kids, but they are obsessed with it. We even got the quote unquote sugary cereal, which is like, you can see what I'm cooking. I don't want to say the name brand, but it's still not as sugary, which is awesome. Okay, hold on. <gasps> oh, sorry. Oh. Sorry, buddy. Perfect. We're making a list right now. We're gonna do grocery shopping today. It's gonna, it's a little different in Costa Rica. We'll definitely show you it. They say Costa Rica is really expensive and they kind of are with groceries if you don't know how to do it properly. So if you buy a bag of chips, it's like ridiculously expensive. But if you grab like fresh fruit, it's super, super cheap. And there's also green markets that come around every week. We've been in different areas of Costa Rica, Tamarindo, Samara, and then now we're in Manuel Antonio and all of them had farmer's markets and they're like, out of this world farmer's markets. Like I've never experienced farmer's markets like this. I am coming from South Florida. I've been through all of, South, uh, all of Florida, Tennessee, North Carolina. Georgia. I've never seen a farmer's market. They're just, they're amazing. They're all the groceries. Farmers do go there. And it's not just arts and crafts. Like when Florida, I feel like they're just arts and crafts and cups and t-shirts, which is some bowl. It's actual veggies and fruit you can get at a good price and they're organic and they're coming direct from the farmers. I love it. So we're gonna get a lot of fruit on either Friday or Saturday. Today is Thursday. When we go to the grocery store, I'll take you guys along with me and show you the prices of certain things. With grocery shopping in Costa Rica, it's cheaper to eat like rice, beans, and a meat. Veggies are like not a thing here and it's driving me absolutely insane because I'm a veggie lover. Fruit's a thing here, but veggies are just like non-existent at stores and at restaurants, which is driving me nuts. Um, but so mostly the meals in Costa Rica are rice, beans, and some sort of meat. So that's usually the cheapest to get in the grocery stores as well. Rice and beans we pretty much have on every single meal. Um, we like tortillas and we like eggs. Meat can sometimes get expensive depending on which kind you get. We've been getting chicken. It hasn't been too bad, pretty comparable. We've been to one store and it was outrageous. I think it was like $15 a pound, something crazy. I put it on my TikTok and everyone was like, oh my God, that's so expensive. Oh my God, it's comparable. In Costa Rica, that's not normal. We just got something really expensive at a grocery store that we shouldn't have. 
So um, we're going to stock up on cereal because the kids need cereal. We have plenty of milk. We need tortillas. I think we need eggs. We need jelly. We don't need Red Bull. <laughs> I found watermelon Red Bull at a store and Red Bull's like not a thing here. So we picked up some, maybe some hot sauce. So you do eat a lot healthier in coast. You eat a lot healthier, whoever considers this healthy for Costa Rica, but it's usually rice, beans, meat. Uh, there's not a lot of processed food because it's so expensive. No dessert and stuff like that. We did one day, we did go to a grocery, a giant grocery store in Tamarindo and got a whole bunch of like Costa Rican candies and chips and we spent a fortune. We spent so much money. Like on a little bag of chips, it was like $6. A little thing of chocolate was like 4 or $5. It was ridiculous, but we wanted to do it at least once to try it. All right, so we're gonna feed the kids. We're still gonna have our second cup of coffee. One of the kids is still sleeping and I'm gonna put away some dishes. We also have to be out of here by 10 o'clock because we have cleaners coming. I love this Airbnb because it's kind of like a hotel. It's the closest thing you can get a hotel in Costa Rica because Costa Rica doesn't have hotels. Like it's not a thing. You have to get an Airbnb. When we were stuck in having that Airbnb from hell drama, trying to find somewhere to go, what, twice now from when we got there and we were leaving, we just wanted like a Marriott, some kind of hotel we can just go to for the night. No, there's no hotels here. You got to find an Airbnb. So um, just be aware of that. When you come to Costa Rica, don't expect an all-inclusive. And if you do find an all-inclusive, I highly recommend you don't go to that because it's probably so shitty and the food is probably so gross. Drinks are probably so gross. Um, so this Airbnb is the closest you can get to hotel. They do cleanings twice a week and they deep clean. I mean, take the sheets all the way off, put brand new sheets all the way on get in the crevices, like refill paper towels, re like refill your coffee. They do everything. They cleaned. They have two cleaners that come in and clean. They have a spa on property. Of course you gotta pay for that, but that's still really cool. They have a front desk and concierge. Like this is, I think it's only all Airbnb rentals. I would be guessing. Um, the condo we're at now has like, I think like 12 units. And then there's another house with like a couple units, another house. So I'm not fully sure, but it's also gated and secure too which is nice. So far has been the nicest Airbnb that we've been to in Costa Rica. We went to another one that I did a whole Airbnb review in Tamarindo, and that one was very nice. However, this one's just above and beyond. I feel like I need to document this because this is so out of the norm for America. So milk is in bags. Everything is in bags in Costa Rica. Hand soap, cleaners, literally everything you can think of. Hand sanitizer is all in bags but milk is in bags as well. I remember seeing this in Colombia for the first time and thought it was so cool as a kid. Um, but if you don't have a container, it's a problem. So we just emptied the finished milk. So we're now gonna put this milk in here. When we, I went to my first grocery store in Costa Rica almost a month ago, um, I, I didn't know what to do because we needed like, the Airbnb we were at were so gross. I had to get a whole bunch of cleaners and stuff. And I didn't know what to do because I could not find a spray bottle, container, nothing. And you had to mix it. I'm like, how am I supposed to clean every day and deep clean this place with a cleaner and a bag? Like this doesn't work out. Um, ended up finding a spray bottle, like randomly by like juices, like a ran, oh God the randomest spot you could find. I found it and it was expensive too. I think it was like $5 for that bottle, but I needed something. Oh God, I'm gonna make a mess. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Careful, SpongeBob, careful, SpongeBob. Oh my God. I also ran out of paper towels and I have like no nothing to clean this up with. So this should be interesting. I also heard a thing in Costa Rica. They say that all the milk is on shelves. That is not true. There is plenty of milk and every single store I've been to is in the fridge. <laughs> So I don't know why people keep saying that. There is milk, a lot of milk on the shelves, but there's plenty of milk also in the fridge. So I don't understand where that comes from. To me, the actual bag ones actually taste the best. They taste a little bit sweeter than normal. They taste like cream, like cream, like a little bit of creamer in it or something. We are currently in crisis mode. My son lost his, what, the typical blankie. It's actually a t-shirt for him. He literally had this morning. This condo is not very big and we don't have that much stuff laying around and he lost it. We can't find it anywhere. We've searched everywhere. The other day he hid it in the fridge and we found it. God knows how long. I'm making breakfast and he is just freaking out and we're just running around with like a chicken with our head cut off because we don't understand where he put it. Like we don't, where could he have put it? We've looked on all the cabinets, see if he threw it. We looked over the balcony, see if he threw it over the balcony. This is the only like blanket he brought. We have backups at home. I hope we find it. He had it this morning. I don't understand. I don't understand. I'm gonna go crazy. We are getting ready for the beach. I am fully dressed. We have cleaners coming at 10, so we need to hurry up. Two of the kids are refusing to get dressed. My middle child never 
ever gets dressed on time, never brushes her hair, it's always a struggle. So let's see what time we actually get out of here. I have, I don't even have my phone. But we're getting ready for the beach and the grocery store. We're on our way, took forever. The kids complained the whole time. And now we're trying to back out of this really scary driveway. <laughs> it is a steep incline. So here's what the city looks like. This is just like the outskirts of it. Uh, I thought it would be more walkable, a little bit safer to walk. It's definitely not. Um, there is sidewalks here, which is better than most Florida areas. However, it's just not, not the most walkable area. Something to be aware of when you're going to Costa Rican beaches. A lot of the beaches you actually cannot swim in because of the rip currents. I think almost all of them. So many people have at beaches in Costa Rica because the rip currents are so strong. There's flags usually posted everywhere not to swim. But in Costa Rica, they're known for like surfing. So a lot of people just go in. But for little kids, definitely not. And also there's a lot of beaches that have crocodiles in the water because in, uh, the natural water hits the ocean water. So they like to swim in there. So we don't go in the water, but we'll stand in the sand and nowhere clear, close to it. We'll look at it, but we're not gonna go in it. So please be aware of that. There is crocodiles in the water and there is some signs. There's a little pond over here that has crocodiles in it as well. And we're like the main city, so. There's a lake right there, a little canal, and it says, do not feed the crocodiles. Why? Because it's not good to feed the crocodiles, dude. Why? Because you're just not supposed to. Crocodiles are aggressive. Why? Oh so the beach is right there, which I didn't know there was actual parking. I thought we had to do them on the side of the street, but there's a park right there and it Do looks like there's a festival or like a uh, carnival or something, but it's not open yet. I'm not sure what's going on, but we're gonna go to the park. I can't show you everything because there's kids and my kids, but this little park is so cute and look. So we just spent about 30, 45 minutes at the park. It was really cute. We were gonna walk to the beach because like you saw, I was right there, but there's a reason why no one's on the beach. And we saw only like one surfer. We saw the surfer climb down the rocks with his surfboard, swim across the bank because there's a whole bunch of water that there that we didn't see until we got up close. And then he got into the little sandbar. So that's why there's no one there. We can't swim across to go to the sandbar. I think all the way down is where you can climb down and like have steps and maybe go to the beach. You can't even see anyone on the beach anyways. So we think it's a little bit farther down. We don't care too much. We can see the beach right now. It's the same as the one in Samada. It's pretty dark ocean. The kids can't go in the water anyways. There's no point. We're going to go to Maxi Pali, which is a grocery store very well known in Costa Rica. Fill up our water jugs. Hopefully, this will be the last time us going to the grocery store for at least food. Water, we'll probably have to go back because um, we drink a lot of water. I drink almost, we almost drink about a gallon a day as adults. So, um, go to the grocery store, get some groceries, and then we're going to go to the pool and just hang out at the pool. Thankfully, our little Airbnb has a nice pool that we can just go to. And then hopefully the cleaning will be done and go back to the house. So things took a turn. This little uh, festival, it's really tiny. I'm guessing it's gonna happen tomorrow and have, we might come back over here tomorrow and see if they have like street food vendors and pick up some fruit and stuff. They do have like a fruit and uh, farmer's market right across the street too, there's like 10 steps of it. So we'll check it out tomorrow. We'll see how it is. But today is gonna be a pool day. I'm buckling my son right now, but we're at a new superstore. This one seemed expensive, but it's newer. We've never been to this kind of one. It's called BM. It was right next to the other one, but there's a sub shop. There's a lot of tourists here, but it's new. Who cares? Let's just, tr let's just try it. It's fine if we spend a little bit more money. This is the one we're at. There's a sub shop right there, and then there's like souvenirs right there. This is definitely the bougie supermarket because they have like kombucha and sparkling water and Red Bulls. <laughs> um, it's not too bad in prices though, but just, it's definitely more expensive. So far, this is what we're looking like. A lot of fruit and veggies and tomatoes. I've never seen this. They even have a berry fanta. Strawberry, pineapple, and then berry. So we're hitting chips and salsa, and I'm like, oh my god, these salsa prices are so expensive. Oh, it's in bags. That's the normal price. This place has a whole bunch of pastries, and this one's actually pizza. They have carne empanadas. We got passion fruit and guava. A lot of uh, stores have these in Costa Rica, but this one looks really good, so we got a couple things to try. We just found, got some chicharron from the actual supermarket and I'm putting some lime on it. We're gonna snack on this before the pool. We have a whole bunch of groceries. I don't know how it's gonna work when the cleaner's in there. Um, hopefully they're done. What time is it? They took like two and a half hours last time. So we're gonna eat lunch in the car and then go to the pool. Probably taste test with this with you. This is what it looks like. It's really crispy. That's good. Oh yeah. Here buddy. This is some good stuff from the supermarket. 
This little thing cost us like almost six bucks, five, six bucks. It was pretty expensive. So we just got to the pool. <laughs> There's still cleaner room, unfortunately. So my husband's bringing up the groceries, at least the cold stuff, and putting it in the fridge. I'm watching the kids. Um, we got them new water toys, so they're just playing with that. We're just gonna leave them here. We're not gonna take them with us back to Florida. I'm in the shady area because I like um, sunscreen and not being burnt and getting skin cancer. So I'm gonna stay here for a little bit. Uh, we ate our lunch. I saw the sandwich. I'm actually gonna do a whole review on the sandwich because I went to a sandwich shop. I was like, this is odd. I never see this in Costa Rica, but another local one in there. So I was like, let's get one. Let's try it. They're only like $7. Um, I got an Italian sandwich and the salami and pepperoni looked like bologna. So I'm interested to see what it tastes like. So yeah, uh, it's a beautiful day today. It is blue skies for it being rainy season. And supposedly there's a hurricane a little bit farther from us that's hitting Jamaica right now. It's beautiful weather, like it, the prettiest day we've ever been in Costa Rica. So since we've been here, there's been like two little tropical storm things that has hit. So, and it's been still fine. Just today's the prettiest. My husband is probably so tired. He went up and down the stairs so many times picking in groceries and he has gout. Anyways, we're gonna enjoy and sit by the pool and eat some snacks. Isn't this so cute? We just came back from the pool. We were there for hours. It was such a beautiful day. We got so many groceries. Hubby's gonna surprise the kids with making some naturales because we got so much fruit at the grocery store. And I actually got tomatoes, which is kind of hard to find here. I got two things of cherry tomatoes. Veggies are really difficult to find here. Fruit, no problem, super cheap. Veggies are difficult. These are the only tomatoes I have. They were the most red I could find. Um, some of them are a little green, but to me, these are like more like cooking tomatoes. They didn't have like sliced tomatoes. So, slicing tomatoes. I would love to know how many bananas you think we got. We got these bananas and all of this. Another bunch right here. Third. They're all taking a shower. Um, 38 bananas. That's how many bananas I bought. 38. And it cost us like $4, I think. It's crazy. We have fallen in love with like jelly and marmalade, thick jelly in our coffees. And our kids have been loving, they just discovered this this morning, toasting tortillas and putting some jelly on top instead of bread because tortillas are more popular than bread here. So we've been loving that. So we got a guava and a strawberry one. Those were super cheap. Giant thing is tortillas because our kids are now obsessed. I've been obsessed always. I love tortillas. Watermelons, we see, like randomly we'll see vendors that sell them and they're pretty decent priced. And for some reason when we want one, they're not there. So these, this one was kind of expensive. So we only got a half because it was per um, kilogram per pound, whatever. Um, so we only got a half. It is heavy though. I know it's gonna be juicy. This is the second time getting this cheese dip. We try to make some mac and cheese because mac and cheese is not really popular here. And it wasn't that great, but we're gonna try it again. This one is the medium one. So hopefully it's a little bit spicier. We're gonna make some homemade like garbage nachos and eat that for dinner just to like switch it up a little bit. We also got two different salsas. Of course, they're in bags. One is pineapple and one's just a chunky medium. I would prefer a spicier one, but my kids love salsa. So we got medium. Uh, and salsa and chips are not really popular here as well, but we were just in the mood for it. Switch it up, because literally every day we have rice, beans, and I feel like an egg. Like that's what I would eat every single day, so we want to switch it up. Little potatoes, our kids are obsessed with those. I'm not the biggest fan of this, but the Costa Rica is known for this. This uh, salsa is not really salsa. To me, what does it taste like? It tastes like Worcestershire to me. I can't explain it, but you're supposed to put it on like anything. You put it on rice and beans, put it on meat. You can marinate this, you can eat it, just putting it on rice and eating it. I'm not a fan of it, but hubby loves it. So if you wanted some, this is my favorite uh, hot sauce, the salsa picante. I like the Tabasco one too. Both of those have been good. It's like my third one I bought. Look how giant this pineapple is. This giant one, these are some more expensive. This is the most expensive pineapple, but it's literally huge. How much was it? A dollar twenty-five? Dollar fifty per pineapple. And again, that was the most expensive pineapple we've ever bought. Usually it's like three for dollar, like something crazy. But this is like the bean paste. My kids really like this. We like to make um, that with some tortillas. We got one thing of cereal. This is kind of expensive here. Ooh, what is what? Chocolate cereal. I don't know. It was like five dollars a giant thing of tortillas i think this was four dollars and then my favorite thing right now are these little biscuits that are in like a heart shape i've been loving these and the kids ate the rest of mine last time i was so upset so i got two of them 
Oh, I got kale. This is the first time I've seen, oh no, I've never seen it before. Um, I have no idea how much it was. I don't know if it's expensive or not, but I need some green in my life. I just, I, I can't stand on having veggies. So we got some kale. This is pretty much be just for me. It's not much. Like it has the stem and everything. By the time I saute it, it'll be like literally two servings just for myself. So we discovered the paste. We got two pastries here. We got guava and we got passion fruit. And we always let down every time we get pastries in America or Costa Rica. I'm salivating. These were the best pastries I've ever got. The passion fruit one was out of this world. And this is the guava one. It actually has guava in it. It's not just like a little sliver. We do not need to go back to the store, take groceries for the, we are here six more days. We do need to probably get more water if we drink so much water. Um, but we're gonna go back to that place to get water, even though it's more expensive to get water, because these pastries are so damn good. The, um, just for reference, waters can differ anywhere in the country. So to refill this gallon, it was $10, which is really expensive. I think it was the most expensive we paid for, refilling. And then we were refilled two days ago at a different place, and it was five dollars. So, mm. Mm -mm -mm. we spent the most money at this grocery store. We spent one hundred and twenty dollars. We also got lunch with it, but it was by far the most expensive we spent. Um, so, probably not the best place to go, Maxi Pali. If you're coming to Costa Rica, it's probably the best bet or local places, but. It was a fun experience. We did it. We did it. We found the best pastry ever, so worth it. We're making naturales. So dinner for the kids is pre-made mac and cheese that we already did, and they have naturales. We're gonna just do something quick for them. They're gonna relax. My son's probably gonna go to bed early because he's super, super tired because he did not take a nap, and he's been in the pool for hours and hours and hours today. And then for dinner, we'll worry about what we want a little later. But simple mac and cheese is not that great in Costa Rica, um, to be honest. But it's the kids tolerate it, so I don't know. We don't actually eat mac and cheese at home, so this is just interesting. I don't, it's something different rather than then just rice and beans. I definitely called it the baby fell asleep while eating his dinner. He fell asleep super early. I didn't realize how early it was. We're done on a totally different time zone kind of being in Costa Rica. He fell asleep at 3.30. So he's probably going to wake up later Well, when we were trying to go to bed and it's going to be a nightmare. But he's exhausted, so I don't want to wake him up right now. We'll just have to deal with it later. We all took showers. As a content creator, I filmed the video outside, like when I got out of the shower, wrapped in a towel, like covered. Anyways, I had a skin cat hack. Um, they didn't sponsor me or anything, but I made a little video about like oiling your skin. If you didn't know, when you get out of the, sh when you're in the shower and you're done with your shower and you're sopping wet, if you put oil all over your body, the water that's lingering on your skin just like sucks up into your skin and it's changed my skincare dramatically. I use a salt hair one, it's not sponsored, but um, any kind of oil, just put oil on your skin. Oh my God the next morning your skin is so good so i extra oiled all of our skins all the kids skin myself my husband um so when we wake up the next morning it'll be nice and soft because we're in the sun a lot today and i want to make sure it's hydrated none of us got sunburn thankfully but still we're out in the sun a lot okay so we took showers we had just leftovers from lunch that we ate for dinner um that hubby and i had we're pretty much done and full um we're on semi-glutide so we're just not like craving anything nor do we care I just filled up my water. My husband just filled up my water, 32 ounces. So I want to drink at least that and maybe another half before I go to bed. It is around 4.30 and we're just sitting outside and we'll probably see some monkeys because as the sun goes down, the monkeys all come out and we saw some toucans today. So I'll keep you guys updated. So the monkeys are right there. They're white faced monkeys. They sound so sweet. They usually don't come up here. They're not as crazy but they'll come up on the roof and stay on the roof or they'll just come closer and try to get food, but we're not feeding them, we don't feed them. But we just lost power. It's the first time losing power in Manuel Antonio on this Airbnb. The one, the Airbnb from hell that I made videos on in Samara, we lost power like every single day. Oh, there's a monkey. So hopefully it kicks back on because it's gonna be hot tonight if not. He's right there. So the monkey that tried to come in the house is the one with the easy tiny little baby. Look, the monkeys. The monkeys was a good end of the night. The kids loved it so much. We're gonna end the night having a little snack all together. The baby's still sleeping, so I'm not sure if he'll wake up. But we're gonna try this new salsa. That's in a bag. There wasn't many options of salsa in Costa Rica. 
Salsa is not known in Costa Rica. So we were just, we just wanted it. We already had tortilla chips. So we're like, let's eat it. Everything's in bags. It is chunky, looks good. Honestly, it smells like tomato sauce. And not like, <laughs> it smells like spaghetti sauce. Medium my ass. I got medium because of the kids. I thought it would be too spicy. Usually Hispanics do heat. I'm Hispanic. I taste sweet. I taste like sugary. No, no. There's things that, there's a lot of things in Costa Rica. I, I try to experiment with. I'm like, oh, this sounds good. Let's try this. Let's try this. The whole pizza situation. Tip and salsa. The mac and cheese. No. The only thing good in Costa Rica is rice, beans, and meat. What are they called? Casados? She did casado. Like, I don't know why I try. I, I don't know why I thought this would be good. Bill. The baby woke up. He woke up at around seven o'clock. Uh, nah, like 6.30 he woke up. It's now 7.30. Mom and dad are exhausted. We're tired. The oldest two girls are running around like crazy. We were trying to get them to settle down. Now the baby's up and he's hyper. It's just like nonstop chaos. We are trying to get them to go to bed and for us to go to bed. In Costa Rica, the time is just totally different. Everyone gets up really early and goes to bed really early here, which we adjusted to immediately the first day because we're up at 5, 6 a.m. and we're not used to that in the United States. So we usually are in bed sleeping at like 8 p.m. So it's 7.30 now. Let's cross our fingers and get them to bed. And we'll probably be back up at 5 or 6 in the morning. So I hope you guys have a wonderful 4th of July. We did nothing special. <laughs> and hopefully we get the kids to bed. We'll see you in the next one. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of our full-time travel family adventures. If you're loving these vlogs, please hit that subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up, comment, do whatever you can, and follow us on TikTok at Mama's Hive.